It's science time. It's time. Hey, it's Mr. C and Little C and today we're going to be building hovercrafts with balloons. <laughs> the power of air. It's science time. It's science time. All right. So first of all, we need our balloons. Then we also need our CDs. Uh, we have some markers so we can draw on the balloons. We have an exacto knife. We have our glue gun. And lastly, we have the piece that we need to connect to allow the air to flow out to build the hovercraft. So I have a little, what was this, like a little 12 ounce bottle? And what, is you, what are you using? A bottle cap. But right now we're kind of testing to see which one works better. Exactly. So we had a couple of these. Uh, we decided, let's see, this is from like a little soap squeezer from the dollar store. And so we're going to glue these on to see if they work differently. All right. We glued it on, we've got our base, and we have our little uh, tube here so that we can concentrate the air. And the air is gonna come out of the bottom and it's gonna create a pad of air between the CD and the table. And in theory, it should float, right? Yeah. So let's blow this up. So I've got to twist mine. I wonder, I wonder how this is going to work. Oh, sweet. I think I got mine on. Okay, you want to see the super cool thing about mine? Yeah. Set it down. Oh, that's awesome. So since mine has the nozzle on the top, I can control when the air comes out versus the when the air stops. And mine, I had to twist it. So yeah, I, oh. I still twist it. I got a hole. Oh, no, it's because your thing's coming off right there. Yeah, I know. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, All right, let's see what happens. No. It works until the moment the rolling gets. Mine's a dud. All right, let's see what mine does. <laughs> mine doesn't want to work at all. All right, hers is working. It's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. I think I have an idea why yours is not, yours is not working. So let's try to figure out why mine's kaput. You see how his is like super wide versus how mine's very small? I think that since his is pushing all the air around the hole, it's not all coming out at the same time. Unlike mine where it's all directly just shooting out. I think I agree with you. Because I think that's what's happening is I have air that's forcing out of the balloon and it's it's causing turbulence. So it's like and my C D is just this because it scoots. Here, open. Your scoots. Your scoots. They're about the same. Alright, let's I'm disappointed mine's not working. That's what I'm thinking, like maybe... Do they don't even know what CDs are. Do you guys know what CDs are? Comment what they are. Comment if you know what a CD is, thumbs up down below. If you don't know what a CD is, thumbs up, because we're going to tell you. It's a compact disc. <laughs> <laughs> now what's a compact disc, Mr. C? 
uh, it's this guy because this is how you used to put data and music on the stuff. So instead of you having MP3 player or your iPhone or I iPad or whatever, carry around your tunes. You put it on a CD, put it in the CD player, and voila. All right, so I'm so disappointed mine doesn't work. It's science time. It's time. It's science time. It's science time. It's science time. It's science time. It's so much fun. Learning fun for everyone. <laughs> Learning science is fun when you're playing with hovercraft. Build your own. Check it out. Every day, we know it's awesome, we know it's great, it's science time. So here we go together, now enjoy the show, hands are clapping, join the flow, it's science, science, science time.